Good afternoon, everyone. Buongiorno, cari amici. Thank you for being here today. I'd like to say a few brief words about our guest, Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni. He's new to his role as Prime Minister, but has been a dedicated public service servant for much of his working life. En tant que député, il a joué un grand rôle sur plusieurs plans, notamment au niveau de la supervision de l'Agence nationale italienne de radiodiffusion. En tant que ministre des Affaires étrangères, il a affronté des crises diplomatiques avec calme et assurance. Et maintenant, en tant que Premier ministre, il défend avec ardeur le commerce international. J'apprécie grandement son appui à l'accord de libre-échange Canada-Union européenne. Les citoyens des deux côtés de l'Atlantique peuvent remercier le Premier ministre Gentiloni de nombreuses opportunités et des nombreux emplois bien rémunérés qui découleront de la mise en œuvre intégrale de cet important accord commercial. Thank you once again, Paolo, for your support of CETA. Of course, our meeting this morning and our meal here today is about more than just diplomatic and trade relations. It's a chance for us to come together to celebrate a truly unique and special friendship. Canada, as you know, is home to just over 36 million Canadians, one and a half million of which identify as Italian Canadian. As I joked earlier today, that number, number seems to double every time the World Cup rolls around. <laughs> and that's okay with me, because our history shows that when Italians have made the difficult choice to leave their homeland and settle here, we've always been the better for it. I experienced this firsthand just yesterday when I had the chance to visit the Art Gallery of Ontario. I want to share a quick story with you because I think it says much about the connection that Italian Canadians feel to both countries. Several business leaders, including Tony Galliano and Tony Veroni, who, is, who are here today, brought together 26 different families who together raised $13 million to help build a new gallery space. What's unique is that they didn't want their own names on it. Instead, it was called Galleria Italia, after the family's beloved country of birth. They wanted to honor the country they loved, a place that reveres art and artists, while at the same time showing their love and respect for their adopted country of Canada. When the Italian government of the day heard about this, they awarded each family the Italian equivalent of the Order of Canada. I am thankful as a father that my own children will be able to visit the Galleria Italia and better understand the connection between two countries that made it possible. I'm also grateful that as Prime Minister, I'll have opportunities to spend more time with Prime Minister Gentiloni. We'll have a chance to do that next month at the G7 Leaders Summit in Taormina, followed by an official bilateral visit in Rome. After that, I will be making a visit to the Vatican City for an audience with His Holiness, Pope Francis. I'm especially happy that I'll be bringing a number of prominent business leaders with me to Rome. They will be part of a business delegation that will accompany me, organized by the Italian Chambers of Commerce of Canada, and I know they will represent us very well. So with that, I invite you all to join me in a toast. To the enduring friendship between Canada and Italy, and to the many close ties that unite our people, may we continue to show the world what it truly means to be partners and friends. Cheers, salute, e buon appetito. <laughs>